to get it right. We know we have not been all that we need to be. What am I? God's so faithful. God's so merciful. God's so compassionate. But what am I? This old wretched man. Am I been living the way I live? And I have all that I have because of God. But I treat him like God ain't did nothing for me. I treat him like God have never woke me up in the morning. I treat him like God have never declared mercy upon my home. I treat him like God have never shown faithfulness to me and to all that I am. You didn't get that education on your own. God provided a way. And some of us get an education, we get high minded and, and say, you know, I did this. You pat yourself on the chest. You think that you did it by yourself. And all the while, God engineered everything in your life, even the woman on your own. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. And if it's a blessing to you, you need to share it with God. Lift up your home right now. You see, there's many homes that exist, that need to be lifted up. I'm not just talking about the world, I'm talking about right in the church, y'all, I'm talking to us. Our homes need to be lifted up, and the way we lift it up is weak God. We need prayer more than ever. Children acting up, grown folks acting up, members acting up, everybody just acting up. But we serve a God can bring all that stuff together. Yes. Put it in the right place. Fix it and make it whole. And then watch us grow. You see, that's the key element to growth. It really is. But God has to be put first. We have to be faithful to God and all that he has blessed us with, church, for us to move to the next level of God. If you're here this morning and if you've been living a guilty distance with God, you're not a member of the body of Christ. This is an opportunity for you to hear the word of God. Believe, repent, confess, and be baptized for the remission of your sins, according to Acts 2 38. And then you can be added to the Lord's church according to Acts 2 47. See, you can't be added to the Lord's church until you are baptized for the remission of your sins. For the Bible says there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, according to Ephesians 4 and 5. Not 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. There's only one. And in that place is the body of Christ. That the only place that you can receive salvation is the only place that you can be baptized for the remission of your sins. And if you are allowing Satan to block you from being free from those shackles of sin, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Free yourself today.